Never say you don't get anything for free. You can still go on a completely free ride along the Klong Pradung Krung Kasem. That's a canal that runs through some of Bangkok's most historic areas. The Thai PM launched the new green canal boat services at the end of November 2020. The service is operated by the Bangkok Metropolitan Organisation. As a bit of background, the Klong ferry boats are styled on the traditional Thai long tail boat. Now this time, of course, though, with great big diesel, very powerful, quite noisy and polluting diesel engines. And the Klongs around Bangkok not only link various important parts of the city, but also link to the more modern types of public transport, like the MRT and the BTS. The Klong ferries are a popular way for many people to get around the city and are packed each morning and afternoon for the daily office commute. Long term, the BMA says they want to replace the older style diesel ferries with electric or lower polluting options. The Klong Pradung Krung Kasem electric boats are a trial service to check the reliability and popularity of an all electric boat service. Certainly, they're very quiet. There's a total of 11 piers along the 5km route and it operates from 6am to 7pm daily. The service runs from the Hua Long Pong Railway Station Pier to the Tabarat Market Pier, linking two sections of the Chao Phraya River that winds past the historic Ratana Kosin Island. The seven electric fibreglass boats in the new fleet can each carry 30 passengers and also allow for one wheelchair on each vessel. The boats can run for four hours on one charge and operate up to speeds of 15 kilometres per hour. They each have 12 solar roof panels to help power the motors and are equipped with a tracking system and security surveillance cameras. On weekdays, the ferry is very busy at 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Most of the passengers are working people in Bangkok. On the weekends, there are also some older tourists that enjoy riding on the new boats. The canal used to be dirtier, smellier, and had greenish color, before there was a big cleanup, in order to start providing this new ferry service. With electric cars, the newer models are already giving even the fastest conventional petrol engine sports cars a run for their money. A similar leap in technology and practicality will be needed to provide a useful replacement for the larger Klong ferries if the BMA is looking to replace the older style ferries long term. Once the free service period is over, you'll have to stump up with a 10 baht fare to get onto one of the electric ferries. So certainly take the opportunity to enjoy a free ride, courtesy of the BMA around the historic Ratana Kosin Island at this stage. Thanks for joining us.